and gentlemen, I'm your host, Seth Julian, welcome you to today's briefing, where we're going to try and just make a little sense out of last week's uh, hyperactivity. Uh, as you can see, it starts here. This is Thursday's U.S. Uh, inflation uh, data, and we see in the core and in the non-core less inflation than was expected. Expected eight in the CPI, the regular CPI core, by the way, is food and energy removed. So inflation uh, 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 totaled, is expected 8 came through 7.7. Note the red imprint. That indicates that it's likely to weaken the U.S. dollar, and it did. And the core CPI year on year, expected 6.5, expected 6.3. The rest of the stuff we can skip. It's technical uh, economics uh, mumbo jumbo. These factors alone drove this. <clears throat> this is the U.S. dollar index. Note the steep fall off in the strength of the U.S. dollar. This, by the way, for those of you who aren't aware, is or even if you are aware, it's the same thing. This is an index of the U.S. dollar against six major trading currencies. It's uh, a rising slope indicates stronger dollar and vice versa. Notice that it broke the 20 and the 50 uh, day moving averages within two days and is approaching the 50, the 200 day moving average. It's a wild swing. It's a huge swing and we see it mostly reflected not only in the US dollar index but we see it in the currencies themselves. So the yen, if we take a look at the dollar yen rate, you'll see that it's remarkably uh, moved. Look at this. Here's dollar yen. That is just an inverse, or actually I should say it's not an inverse, it's a, it's a, a corollary, almost a direct corollary, to the uh, dollar index. Broke the 20 and the 50 EMA, and it's, it's further from the 200 EMA, but you get the idea. Of course, it's at a 140 handle, it had previously been at a 150 handle, but you, you get the point. And that scenario holds through for a number of the world's mating, major trading currencies where the dollar is involved. Take a look at euro dollar, and we'll see a similar pattern. And that's the question is this really: is this a correction or is this a reversal? We feel that it's a correction. This is not reversing anything so fast. Uh, interest rates are going to continue to rise. Remember that the market is is manic, like many of us as individuals, we're manic people, and so at the slightest hint of a of things getting better in the sense that the inflation was tapering down a little bit. Ah, everybody's rushing to buy, and then it, it, uh, it raises stock market valuations and bonds uh, uh, sell off, etc., etc. It's illusory in our opinion. We think this is going to revert and continue its long-term secular um, uh, increase in strength. Interest rates are going to increase, maybe not by three quarters of a percent, but by half a percent. The increase they are going to do. Inflation is not, you know, but three tenths of a point of an arrest in, in inflation does not greed forestall. It just kind of makes it, the greedy a little wary, but it doesn't forestall their greedy price rises. And so we think this is going to continue. Um, so dollar strength likely, and the resultant implications for dollar currency pairs uh, follow suit. The only thing I want to mention before we go is the crypto collapse of uh, the uh, crypto exchange. For those of you who have been following our advice, and even for those of you who have, and do not repeat, do not keep your assets in the exchange. If you haven't noticed by now, the only place where these robberies occur is invariably in the exchanges. And they tell you, you re a million times, every time you buy crypto, you're responsible for your own security. You're responsible for security. Ad infinitum. But nobody pays some penalty. People aren't paying attention. They leave their money in the, crypt in the exchange. What do you think gets knocked off? You don't read any articles about people's wallets getting knocked off because it's too difficult. But the exchanges are not too difficult. Don't leave your money in the exchanges. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for now. I'm your host, Seth Julian, wishing you the ability to trade with confidence, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.